Hi guys and welcome back. This bike just came in for service and even though it's 50 degrees and I'm, I'm just feeling like, you know what, I want to go home. I got two sweatshirts on, bandana, you guys up north probably laughing right now, but uh, this is such a common problem on a lot of older twin cams that I want to make a video about it before I go. So here we go, we're going to try to start it. It gets a little better than that. Huh? This is all you're gonna get out of it, over and over. The problem we having is happening inside the fuel tank. So we're gonna have to drain all the fuel before we even get there. I'm gonna show you real quick how you drain the fuel without really making a whole lot of big deal about it. So what I'm gonna use is a piece of hose. Uh, I need a vice grips that I can lock this part of the front hose from, from leaking fuel out on, from that side. And we're gonna remove the hose from here and replace it with, with this hose into the bucket so we can drain the fuel out easily. Um, by the way, I'm working outside here because this bike has the trike kit on it. As you can see that Voyager kit and I can't get it on the lift. First, we're gonna get this clamp out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna replace it with regular screw uh, type clamp. So you can just put a pliers on this, wiggle it, it'll come loose. And then uh, after that happens, what I do, I, I pinch this hose right here with needle nose like this. So when I pull the hose, nothing comes out of it. I quickly replace it with the hose to drain the fuel into the bucket and that way uh, you're always gonna spill a little bit of fuel so be careful there but it's uh, no big deal okay see this one is not letting any fuel out now I got my other hose drop it in the bucket Okay, now we're gonna drain all the fuel out. As you can see, it's draining into the bucket. Okay, while my fuel is draining out, uh, I can start working up here. I need to get this chrome cover off. So I'm gonna loosen up the gas cap. And we got three screws. One, there's two in here here and here and one down here that's why we had to take the seat off can't really mix them up there's two long ones and one really short so um, once you get that off this console will come off you can just put that aside I'm gonna put something under here so we don't scratch anything. Put this, uh, there's a rubber trim that goes, this trim that goes around the opening down here. We'll put that back on later. I'm gonna put this cover on because I wanna clean some of this mess around here. One electrical connector to unplug. Just a little release here, we pick that up and unplug it. Make sure you don't lose this, this seal, the weather's proofing. This one supposed to be plugged in here, okay? But it was kind of crumbled in here like this. So uh, that was already out of place for a long time. Looks like this never been really taken apart. Look at the amount of uh, dirt here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of soapy water, clean that up, that's why I put the gas cap back on it because I don't want this dirt fall inside the gas tank because we have to okay I'm gonna take this back off and we're gonna take all these screws okay guys with these screws be very careful because they have this plastic sealing let me see if i can focus here 
this plastic sealing uh, washer on it it's usually about half and half of the screws the washer stay on the screw or it stays on the cover so you see the ones that kind of the screws they kind of pop right off they have all the seal washer on it these ones kind of staying in they most likely have the seal stuck so I'm not even gonna take those out and they have that seal stuck on uh, on the cover so now when you're working on your bike at home plug this thing back in because you want to find out what's going on basically the reason why the bike starts and quits is because there is a leak somewhere inside the tank between the fuel pump and uh, the delivery to the fuel injection check what happens when I turn the key on might take a minute there's still a little bit of fuel in the tank but when I turn the key on you see the spray this whole system inside the gas tank has to hold pressure on on this piece there's two there's two uh, like a plastic ears on it that hold it in place so let me take it apart unhook this clip And you can slide this piece off. It's just gonna stay hanging on the wire. And move this forward. Plastic ear on this housing is cracked. This part is called fuel pressure regulator. And uh, what happens very commonly here is this housing that holds that fuel pressure regulator and this uh, um, filter and everything kind of fits into this has these two plastic ears and they either break off or crack this one is cracked so it allow this part not to be firmly in place and the pressure pushed it down and that's why that o-ring bulged out so let me get a little better angle and I'll show you what's going on here We're gonna take that off. And uh, here's this housing. And if you look in this angle, let me see where the, this one here, it's, it's definitely um, cracked. You can actually see the crack right there. And, and it's not holding the fuel pressure regulator with these ears not holding it in place this thing will start work its way out and it start leaking in the middle here one important thing before you start removing this line place something under the bike because even though you drain the fuel into your bucket here once you get this line off here there'll still be fuel coming out and it'll get over the bike it's no big deal but just so you don't flood your floor, I would recommend putting something under the bike. Here's the old line. Definitely a good idea to change it since we're already uh, doing um, some other work here. I put some grease on the o-ring here to help this uh, o-ring to seat good. So then simply just install this. We can already connect our fuel line here and I'm also going to put this already back together. So this part of the video is shot about five days later after I received my parts. So,
before you put the the cover dash cover on you're probably gonna have the same thing going on like I do here this trim comes off and the middle one that goes around the, the gas cap it's always off and it's hard to get this back on so what I use it's uh, this Loctite you can buy at Home Depot Walmart great great glue just put a couple drops just get it in the groove inside it Be careful and make sure you don't get any of it on your paint because it won't come off. And with these couple of drops, in the future, if for whatever reason you need to change this trim or you need to get it off, you can still do it. Now this one is the tough one always. Because that, that gas opening wants to yank it off the groove. Okay, so again, uh, great product here. Recommend it highly. So now I'm gonna put some WD-40 on this rubber trim to make it easier to slip over. So now there's two on each side here of each side of this so it'll fit nicely. And here you just kind of try to ease it in there. Here I just want to show you close up. So this area it's really tight. So that's where the glue comes really helpful not to rip it out of the groove that it's in this chrome piece. So WD-40 on the outside and couple spots of the crazy glue make it happen without struggle. Otherwise you're gonna be pulling your hair to try to get this thing in there. Okay guys, so we got everything back together. I checked for leaks, everything's good. So we're gonna turn it on and the bike should start right up. Just finished wiping this bike down, everything is done. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, you see if the bike has these kind of symptoms, it's uh, most likely something related to your fuel injection, not holding a pressure. 90% of the time it's inside the tank so thank you so much for watching and see you next time